Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Daily Devotional this morning. I'm Pastor Jin of Little Falls United Methodist Church. I'm here to share with you the Daily Devotional with the Upper Room. I hope this devotional helps you with your daily journey with God and fellowship with Jesus Christ today. Today is February 22nd, 2022, Tuesday. The theme of today's devotional is Soaring Hope. The scripture is from Isaiah chapter 40, verses 27 through 31. Why do you say, O Jacob, and speak, O Israel? My way is hidden from the Lord, and my right is disregarded by my God. Have you not known, have you not heard? The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He does not faint or grow weary. His his understa understanding is unsearchable. He gives power to the faint and strengthens the powerless. Even youths will faint and be weary, and the young will fall exhausted. But those who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk, not and not faint. Amen. Today's story is from Kelly, who lives in misery. An overnight bag sat in the back seat as the car engine hummed. I was about to begin my long drive for another trip to care for a family member. Before pulling out of my driveway, I laid my head on the steering wheel and closed my eyes silently, asking God to sustain me through the coming days. Challenged emotionally and physically, I had been encouraged when God brought Isaiah 40.31 to my attention in my scripture study. I kept a handwritten note on my living room table, a visible reminder that I could look to, meditate on, and memorize. The verse assured me that I would receive strength by placing my hope in God. A few miles into my journey, I caught a glimpse of something white in the blue sky. When I looked I recognized the white tail feathers of a bald eagle. I had soared di directly over it had soared directly over my car as I traveled down the highway. I began to cry as I remembered God's promise in my memorized verse. I had not been looking for a physical sign of God's promise. But oh, how welcome it is! It was. God was with me and gave me the st uh, stamina I needed, and God will continue to strengthen me as I place my hope and trust in God's power. God is with you, and God can give you strength, wisdom, and power. And God is caring for you. So God is providing God's strength and wisdom to us all the time. That is what, is what God is doing for us. Sometimes we need more strength. Sometimes we need wisdom. Sometimes we need God's power to endure something or get over something or get through something. What? Would you like to do and what would you like to receive from God yes God's power God's strength God's love and grace sometimes we believe that God will give us but sometimes we doubt but you know what God gives us signs not only with physical signs but also through God's words God's hearts, our emotions and feelings. Sometimes 
the worst from our neighbors and or friends. Sometimes, a strange way, as God's ways. When we see the sign, signs of God's care and love, we are joyful. Sometimes, no, many times, God gives us God's sign, and when we keep that, when we have that. We will be happy and great. As a pastor, lots of issues come to me. Whenever I confront that issues, though those issues, I feel um, this disappointed. Sometimes I lose my strength to continue the ministry. But you know what? God always gives me the good sign. Sometimes it is small. Sometimes it is big. Recently, I was told that a visitor would like to be a member of the church. How great it is! How wonderful it is! That is a big sign. That was a big sign for me and to the church, because. The church is here to help and serve people to change their life, to accept Jesus Christ, to serve God, and it has happened in our ministry and through this church ministry. And I just witnessed God is working for us and for the church, and also God gives us that. Big sign to me and the church. I was delighted. I was joyful, and still I am happy for that and excited for that. What signs do you have in your life? Any good words do you heard? Any good hearts comes in your mind? Something good. Comes to you, or any scripture. I mean, God's words or devotional touches your your souls and spirit. Church family and friends, we live in God's words, and we have a lot of signs from God. Let us open our eyes and see that sign. Let's ask God to. Open our hearts, so let us see and feel God's signs in our hearts and in our lives. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for giving us strength when we are weak and weary. Help us to rely on you instead of our own limited power and ability. Gracious God, we need you all the time. We need. The hope in you, you always provide us your hope, your grace, and your mercy in our lives. So we give thanks and praise. Lots, lots, a lot of negative signs come to us. However, we'd like to focus on the positive signs that you give us. Let us focus on you and rely on. You, because you are our God, our foundation, and our Lord. Gracious God, we are here. Pour out your strength on each of us, and today, give us your signs and open our eyes, so that let us see your signs of your care, of your grace, and of your mercy. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. I hope you have a great day today, and I will see you tomorrow. Have a wonderful day, and see you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye bye.